Holy Spirit will have you do something spontaneous. Let me just tell you this. The Lord told me to, and as a prophet, that's why you, you don't try to figure out the Father beforehand. You just do what he tell you to do. So the Lord had gave me an instruction to order five books from authors. This is what he told me. Order five books, right? And so I obeyed him. I, I thought at first, I really did think it was out of pocket. Because <laughs> me and you both know that I don't. So, but I did it. And when I did it, and, and I'm saying this so that you could discern the voice of God and obey him and not miss what he is saying to you. So I ordered the books, and as soon as I ordered the books, I got the books, and I was looking at the books, and I was attempting to find out what is the Holy Spirit wanting me to do? Is he telling me to learn from these people? Or is he telling me to let them mentor me in something? Is there something... So I was located and why I got these books? Because I know my wisdom high. I know there's nothing I don't know. <laughs> and then the Holy Spirit told me. He said, I told you to get these five books. Because now that I'm having you write books, I don't want you to do none of your books like this. Man, I was shocked. I was shocked. I was shocked because I wasn't expecting that at all. I thought that the father was going in a different route. But he told me, he said, son, I'm very precise. And I critique things differently. He said, the people that read these books, they get distracted easily. And there's golden things in these books that they will never catch because the book is too big or is is too it elaborates on too much unnecessary things that it leaves the things that's really supposed to be magnified that I want magnified to be missed now here's what you want to see the holy spirit was showing me okay I'm having you do this for me, but I'm showing you who have done this for me, but didn't give me what I wanted. Saints, I'm going to tell you this, and this is real powerful. It's not enough for you just to do what the father wants you to do, but make sure you do it the way that he wants it done, because that's the only thing that's going to tattoo you on the heart of God. It's so easy to be remembered by men, but it's better to be remembered by God. Remember what the word of the Lord said. It said, the man at the cross said, will you remember me, Jesus? Remember me when you get into your kingdom. The word remember is very powerful because he was telling Jesus, I want to respond to you in a way that you'll never forget who I was. I want to respond to you in such a way that you want me in heaven forever. I want to respond to you in such a way that you would think of me day and night, that I would be imprinted in your soul. Say, I know you never heard it like this before. When that man told the Lord to remember me, he said, remember me. He was telling the Lord, I want to become a fascination in your mind that you can't get over me. What I'm saying, how I'm acting, what I'm doing right now, I want my honor to be memorable. I want it to never be erased from your mind. It was so glorious what the Father showed me in just this one lesson. He showed me that there was many people in the past generations that obeyed him. 
He told them to write books. He told them to release the books, but they didn't listen. And not, I'm not talking about everybody, but they didn't listen to the father about how to do it. Saints, I'm going to tell you this. How is way more important than did. You can tell a child to pit the dishes right there. But if they did it without any caution, focus, you'll still see spaghetti stains on the dishes. You'll still see <laughs> filet mignon. Filet mignon now. Filet mignon. Filet mignon. Now you better come around me smell like no filet mignon. Miss Chia. Miss Chia. You always walking around every time I see you on the block. Filet mignon now. Just had a flashback at Miss 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 Chia. Miss Chia. You understand? Miss Chia always wanna do nails and she wanna hop over and cook some rice, some steam fried rice. I'll tell you that right now. You can't be working on no feet and then cooking no meat. I'm gonna tell you that right now. See, that, that that's not a help meat. You can't work on no feet and don't, and don't cook no meat. All right, all right. Says how many y'all ever knew? How many y'all ever knew? Um, you know, a chef, a chef was cooking, and you know they had a pass, and they started tasting the food while they was cooking. And you got nervous. You started looking over the pot like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you know, they was hot on the block earlier. They was hot on the block. You see them starting to taste the food, see if it's good. Hey! <laughs> you walk in there. Let me taste it. Let me taste it. Let me taste it. You ain't gonna taste it. You. Never mind. <laughs> How is bigger than did? And this is so powerful. I never thought about this. It's spontaneous wisdom. And this is blessing to me because it's fresh. Saints, I don't know if you know this, but wisdom is something that God gives you that makes you never irrelevant. You'll always be on point because wisdom is something that you have that does not expire. It keeps rebranding itself and renewing itself. How is bigger than did? Isn't that glorious to know? How is bigger than did? Because I can do it. But if I am not in the right place, how I did it can take away the fact that it was even actually done. The Bible said David behaved wisely. It means that he not only obeyed the instruction, but he pit his whole passion, his energy. He was energetic. He was excited. He knew how to react to the task at hand as if it was the biggest amount of pleasure. Saints, I'm going to say this to you and I want to be real provocative and raw so that you can catch this picture. All the women that David had sex with. 
all those places of pleasure that he ever experienced was abandoned for this one moment of God telling him not to kill Saul. That became his biggest pleasure. David's moment of hearing the father say, don't deal with Saul like this, was magnified as his biggest satisfaction. So in David's mind, if you ask him, what's the biggest enjoyment you ever had in this life? To behave wisely. What I'm showing you is how this is really supposed to be your response to everything that the father is currently telling you to do. Not, oh, I need to get out of this. Or I just need another season to come so I can regain my strength. If you are waiting for a new season to become happy, it's a proof that you're not carrying happiness. If you have to wait for anything to occur to experience joy, it is proof that you don't have joy. Anything that you do have, you can activate in the now. Wow, 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 wow. You caught that? You caught that? Did you catch that? Oh, shoot. Big Draco. <laughs> loose me. Loose me. Loose me. Loose me. Get your dang old hands off of me. You Get your hands up off of me. You're not going to grab me. Get your hands up. Did you catch what I said? If you have it now, you can activate it now. So anything that you're waiting to occur, to say, once it occur, I'll be good. That's proof you don't have it. If you have it, you won't, you won't have to wait for nothing to occur. You can just walk in it now. You, you see what I'm saying? If you really... <laughs> I don't want to hear y'all be up there doing makeup while you're driving. You done hit the old lady on the tail. She didn't recognize it because she had sleep in the car. You get accident with an old person, it'd be the best day of your life because they'd be forgetting stuff. Oh, where, where, what happened? Oh, ain't nothing happened. It ain't nothing happened. I, I did. Did you take your medicine today? What's your name? Oh, my gosh. What, they, they let you drive out here by yourself? Yeah, yeah. See, once you get over 87. You gonna hear a boom in your head. But the boom, when you hear the boom in your car shake, it is called, it's not called menopause. It's called senior pause. See, this is something else. See, I had to learn this. I went to school for it. I went to school for it. This is different. This is this way different. This is not menopause. This is senior pause. And see, you get this when you're over the age. When you go over that 85 barrier, you get over into 87. When you're over 87, you start hearing booms. <laughs> and and, and uh, not only do you start hearing booms, it, here's what really happens. When you hear the booms, it normally happens. The, they, they said they taught us that it happens when there's somebody else that's young that's driving behind you. That's what they taught us. They taught us that automatically there's a synergy. There's a synergy that goes off in your chromosomes, in your in your chromosomes, in, in your intestines, in your blood cells, in your white cells. There's a linking and a, a synchronology. 
between all of those different aspects, anatomies, academies of your physical strength. She done fell asleep while you were talking. Ma'am, ma'am. No, as a matter of fact, let me get in my car. That's just my cue to go. <laughs> nah, I'm not going. I'm not even going. I'm not. I'm not. Nah. You done gone. <laughs> This is so glorious. How is better than did? So weigh out everything the father is currently having you do with excitement. And don't act as if this is a burden on me. See everything as a blessing. Even if you say you went to jail for the next five years of your life, it's still a blessing. There was five years worth of death sentences awaiting your life. The father hiding you away. There was nothing on the outside of this jail that was going to get you to heaven. So the father in his wisdom let you go to jail for the next five years. Don't worry, some of y'all got worn out for your rest. They ain't coming to get you. <laughs> I, I'm just giving you a reference. I'm not saying that 12 gonna come. I'm just letting you know that this is a part of your blessing. Everything God is instructing me is in part of my blessing. Even a correction is a part of my blessing. An instruction is a part of my blessing. A rejection from God is a part of my blessing. If God tells me no, is a part of my blessing. If God tells me not yet, is a part of my blessing. Sometimes you think the blessing is the manifestation of what you prayed. But the blessing is that the fact that God decided to respond to what you prayed. The manifestation of his response was a blessing. Whether he said yes or no, doesn't even outweigh the fact that he took time to respond. The Holy Spirit said to me, buy five different books. I'm looking at the books. And I really thought the books were going to be kind of deep, but it was boring to me. Because it was already stuff I had already knew. You're only excited by the climax of revelation. Even if you was connected to a man or woman of God before you met Prophet Joshua Holmes, the level of revelation I will give to you will never be heard. Because God knows that excitement is an enlightenment to finish your assignment and you cannot continue what is boring to you so the father will give you a fascinated leader why doesn't God make me look like Madiwa why doesn't God tell me to grow a beard down to my kneecaps and look like Abraham Lincoln brother why doesn't why doesn't God tell me to look like I'm part of the Moses Kryptonites Why doesn't God tell me? Oh. Because everybody has to learn how rather than did. Oh, I did what you say, Lord, but how did you do it? What was the presentation? Did you follow the protocol, the preference, the desire of God? So focus on how. Focus on how. Focus on how. How. Focus on how. Because how is going to give God the actual pleasure that he's looking for so saints 
When you ask God for wisdom, you're also asking him. And you get understanding. Guess what? Wisdom is what to do, but understanding is how to do it. Wisdom is what to do, but understanding is how to do it. So the next time you, that's why the Bible say, where all you're getting of wisdom, get understanding. Why is God talking like that? Because he's saying, I want you to not only do this, but I want you to know how to do it. What attitude you should have, what excitement, what energy levels you should have. Having the focus that God doesn't want you to have will cause you to have the lack of energy, the drain, the lack of energy that God doesn't want you to have. If you have a focus that God doesn't want you to have, you'll have the lack of energy that God doesn't want you to have. Do you understand that stamina is God rewarding you for managing your mind? Endurance is the insurance during a storm. It covers you. Think about that. Endurance is the insurance during a storm. It covers you. So for the rest of your life, here's wisdom. Get understanding. A good understanding, give it favor because it's, it's you doing what's supposed to be done and the attitude is supposed to be done. So it gives favor because it gives God what he prefers.